This is the Next Up YouTube. So in my last video where I was going through all the tuto tutorials, I was going back and doing some editing, and I realized there are a couple things that you know I would like to have or like to cover now that I didn't cover then that may be helpful to a number of people out there. As again, one of the awesome thing about Android is for a lot of us, you know, it's meant to be used to whatever works best for you. And one of the things I think for a number of people that they may want to change may be the whole gesture thing. And what I mean by that, well, for some, well, for many of us right now, we kind of use for with Android uh, when it comes to making, you know, or navigating around the whole operating system. We know to swipe up, swipe to the left, and all of that stuff. But with some people, that may be frustrating, or that may be something they do not want to do. So what I'm going to do is walk through gestures and how you can adjust that, turn it off if you want, and how to use it, if so be. So this is going to be, again, a detailed video, a video meant to, to basically walk you through if you're new to Android, how to do all that. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the settings. And like I said in the last video, one of the fastest ways to get there, swipe down. As a matter of fact, let me clear all. Let's swipe down. Go ahead and turn do not disturb on. And let's hit the settings wheel. All right. So I'm going to scroll up, scroll systems gestures now one of the things that i am looking to do is actually i want to do something else well let's do this we'll go over the gestures real quick and what you can use gestures for your phone so quick tap you can now we don't have that you can use that to, uh, to tap on the back of your phone to do a screen us uh, take a screenshot so let's let's do that let's turn that on and i'm gonna say okay a, a quick tap will take a screenshot so let's leave that on and let's see what happens play around with that so i'm gonna leave it there go back boom screenshot now let's go back again and let's say we want to turn that to Use that to, I don't know, play or pause media. You can change it to that. So that's one gesture that you can use. Now, let's turn that back off. Let's see what else we have. Now, that feature do not look like it's available on the older pixels. Uh, you got the ability to quickly open camera. Now, basically, I do have this one. You can do that basically by pressing the power button and the, actually it's pressing the power button twice. So what you would do, if you have it turned on, if you hit power twice, it opens the camera. So let's go back. All right, let's go back here. Now, system navigation. I'm going to go back up because I want to do flip for camera selfie. Let's do that first. I want to do an order. Let's do an order. So flip camera for selfie. Now, when you have this on, to switch from regular mode to selfie mode in your camera, uh, basically you're going to do a double twist. So if that's on, you're going to do like this. Put on this. And then it turns into selfie mode or activate the front facing camera. And then we can turn it back. So let's go back to the main point what I was trying to get through when I started this actual video. And when I was talking about gestures, I was mainly referring to dealing with system navigation. Even though all the other gestures you guys may find useful, we're going to go into system navigation. And the reason why, because for some people, they may want to go to a more traditional style uh, 
especially if you came from something like a Samsung phone or older Samsung phone that had the older three button navigation or you came from a phone that, you know, had the three button navigation. So what you can do is you can actually turn that back on for both of these. And that's for both the Pixel 6 and for your older Pixel. And basically with that, your circle will be basically your home button. The triangle will be your back button. And the square will be your recent app button. So if that is something that is, you know, familiar to you, that will be how you could turn that on. Now, let's just say you, you quite want, or on a Pixel 6, you only have three options. You have your three button, your gesture navigation. And I'm thinking that's because they found that those are the two preferred options, either the three button and the gesture navigation. But in the older Pixel, you still may have three options. And the reason why, because first they went from three to two, where you had your home button, your back button, and then your gesture was uh, up and back with your recent app. So it basically what it did, it pretty much did a lot of what you have for gestures but it gave you a button for main your home and for your back now gestures that's how i have it set up on here this is for if you want to use that now uh, it's very similar to kind of like the iphone gestures matter of fact i'm not gonna say iphone was first the gestures because they weren't they were probably maybe, maybe the first that people jumped on to and got hyped up about it because it, you know Apple did it but Android was one of the first to do it Apple just kind of did it different but if you decide to use that or you see that this is on your phone and you want to learn how to use it basically the way it works is we, we swipe up to go back home and that's kind of similar to if you had your circle button in the middle if you want to get your recent app which is like similar to your square you the up and back and they give you a recent app or if you want to do back, you just swipe. Let me go to let me go to an app. So if you want to go back, you just swipe from the side of the screen and they'll go back. So again, that will be how you would use the system navigation if you chose or choose to go that route. Or if you just don't like it, you can switch it to the three button mode. Unless you're on an older pixel, then you might have options to go to the two button mode. Let's see what other navigation we have while we're here or gestures we have. So you can do tap to check your phone, which is tap to wait. Something I talked about in the previous video. You got lift to check your phone. Let's, put, let's touch what that is. So basically when you pick your phone up and lift it and notice that it senses that and then it basically wakes your phone. So you can kind of see your notifications. So let's go back. You got flip to quiet. And basically, if it's ringing, I'm pretty sure you saw the commercials with this. If your phone's ringing, you can just flip it and they'll just silent. So that is how you turn that on if you choose to. You got one-handed mode. And what one-handed mode does, let's turn that on just so you can see it. One-handed mode, you can pull the screen down. And it makes it where it's easier to use. So let me see if I can actually do that. That seemed to be easier to make that work by if you're going to use that, the one handed mode. Because when I try to use, when I turn that off and try to do that gesture, and I don't know if it's something I'm, well, I'm pretty sure it's something I'm doing. Because I'm not swiping down from the right spot. And I'm not getting it to kind of pull down like, <laughs> like it's showing in that image. So if you're going to use it, at least, unless you can get it to work for you. I'm finding it much easier if I want to use that motion to go ahead and turn or turn on one-handed mode shortcut and then just hit that on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and turn one-handed mode off as I'm okay with what I have. All right, so that was that mode. And then you have the power button. So basically, I want to say this is turned on out of the box. Or I may have done something when I'm going through my initial... A setup where I accidentally turned it on. All I know is when I went to go try to power off, it was turning my assistant on, and that frustrated me. So, the reason why I'm showing you this because if you go to power down your phone and you find the assistant coming up and you've already put the phone across the 
walk to the room. To change that back, that will be where your gestures at. Go to press and hold power button and just turn that hold for assistant off. And then you'll have your standard power menu. Because if you don't do that, you're going to get your assistant. And like I said, if you're used to power or hitting the power button to turn the phone off, I can see that would be frustrating. 